गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास आई एम रजनी योर साइंस टीचर इन डी ए वी पुलिस पब्लिक स्कूल कैथल आर टॉपिक इज सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन विच जनरली द टू पेरेंट्स मेल एंड फीमेल दे आर इन्वॉल्व बाई पेरेंटल रिप्रोडक्शन इन दिस सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन the young one produce are similar to their parents that is because the characteristics of both male and female parents are involved in the next generation and fusion occur and the first cell that is zygote is formed and by the division of the first cell that is zygote the development of new individual sexual reproduction involve the two sex cell of the male and female gametes from the female gametes it is produced as egg and from the male gamete it is produced as sperm in most the cases these two types of gametes are produced by the two different individuals have as i have told you that in some animals as in earthworm the same parent have both the gamete if the animal have both the male and female gamete that is known as hermaphrodite animal when the two gametes sperm and ovum unite they form a single cell called zygote this process is known as fertilization and the zygote then develop into an embryo so the sexual reproduction is the development of offspring due to the involvement of two sexes that is male and female and the next is fertilization as i have told you when the two gametes sperm and ovum unite they form the single cell that is known as zygote and the fertilized egg the process is known as fertilization and from the zygote then develop an embryo here you can see the egg in the center that is in pink color and in the surrounding there are different sperm so the fertilization is the fusion of male and female gamete to produce the first cell that is zygote and this fertilization result in the formation of new generation a rabbit can produce 10 to 30 offspring and similarly the different animals they can produce the different number of individuals in the flower fruit fly it can produce about 900 offspring per year this fertilization process occur in two type external fertilization and internal fertilization as the name is given external fertilization means the fertilization occur outside the body and internal fertilization is the fertilization take place inside the body external fertilization in external fertilization male release the sperm and female release the egg and the fusion of egg and sperm take place outside the parent body here you can see the picture of frog the sperm and ovum they are released outside the body the sperm and eggs they are released outside the body and the fertilization take place outside and the zygote develop into outside the body and develop into an embryo for this pattern to succeed the male and the female must shed their gametes in the large number at the same time and place because from the large number there are some possible of fertilization 
The example of this external fertilization and external development is frog. The second is internal fertilization. As the name given internal fertilization in this the male release the sperm in the female body and the fertilization occur inside the female body. And when the baby is fully formed then it is delivered out. The process is internal fertilization and internal development. But here the two type of development occur. Internal fertilization and external development is also occur in some cases as in birds. When the sperm is passed out from the male body and enter into the female body, the fertilization take place inside the female body. And the zygote after its formation surrounded by some secretion along with some reserve food and a shell that you called it as egg and these help in the development and protection of the growing embryo. The egg after fertilization released out from the body of the female as in hen, sparrow, crow etc. The egg is released outside the body and development is external. Fertilization is internal but the development is external that is outside the female body inside the egg. Development take place and the chick is produced out from the egg. So here you study the external fertilization and external development, internal fertilization and external development and internal fertilization and internal development.